This is the beautiful Isle of Wight Steam Railway. I picked today to visit as there's a beer festival here this weekend so I can see I'm going to have a lovely time. It's been a while since my last visit but I remember my first visit dating back to the late 1970s when the heritage line was much shorter and didn't connect out to Smallbrook Junction as it does now. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and welcome to another Lingley's video. My first impressions on arrival visiting here today are very good. The staff are welcoming, the area is tidy and organised and there's a happy autumn buzz going on about the place. This is very much an old school southern region style railway. More about the line and the trains and the other exhibits around as we explore during the day. I'm early, starting here at Haven Street Station, found the beer festival marquee and have time to watch the railway get themselves sorted for the day. And look at this, it's a fully refurbished little rail car, ultra fresh out from the workshop and on the line today for us to enjoy. It's a very old Drury rail car built in 1927 as one of a small set to run on the ride pier to replace the then ageing electric units which ran for many decades previously. This one, number two, has had a difficult history, but without its body, played an important role in moving bits around the railway in the 1970s when the heritage line was being reopened. Then left derelict and almost forgotten for over 30 years, it's since been rebuilt and modernised to comply with safety requirements and the need for reliability. Although many of the body components and the chassis are original, all the main panelling has been replaced. This little carriage is lovely and I look forward to taking a ride later on today. The beers here are cleverly named. Fuggle D Dum at 4.8% seems to be one to start with, so with a cheeky early beer in hand, I'm back exploring the railway. There is a lot going on at Haven Street Station. There's time for me to take a full run up and down the line on the train, take a shuttle run on the rail car and explore the station here. There are several museums to look at as well. Aboard the train, let's reflect on some of the history of the line. 
originally built in the mid 1860s as the Ireland's Central Railway, it formed later in the 1800s part of an extensive network of lines on the island. The Heritage Line now operates over five and a half miles of track with the main station here at Haven Street. Much of the rolling stock and the engine collections date back to the early years of the railway during the time the southern region operated the line. There are several fully operational stations along the line with Haven Street more or less halfway and Wooton furthest to the west. At Smallbrook Junction, the end of the line, the engine needs to run around for our return trip. Loco 24 Calborn is a typical southern region tank engine, one of 60 Adams 02 class 044 tanks built in the late 1800s. This is an old engine, but in first class operational condition for us today. Initially run on lines in the southern part of England on the London and South Western Railway tracks from Fratton, it was transferred to the Isle of Wight in 1925, renumbered and named Calbourne after a village on the island. Number 24 has been the flagship loco of the Heritage Railway from the early 1970s and is sadly the only surviving locomotive of its class. This rake of beautifully restored and maintained carriages date back to the London and Brighton South Coast Railway era from the very, very early 1900s. Carriage 4168 on the eastern end of the set is a third class 1905 compartment brake carriage with a large guards van area. All these carriages have had fascinating histories. 4168, for example, was converted to be an ambulance carriage during the First World War and needed to have its body completely reconstructed to return it to passenger service afterwards. I'm riding in a first-class compartment in a similar LBSC railway carriage.
back at Haven Street, I confirm with the station staff that I've got time to go and get another beer and take a look at the signal box. I've also reserved a seat on the next rail car run over to Wooten. The new controls double ended now with the conversion and the brand new engine add a slight modern twist to the blend but each modification has been done tastefully and carefully so that to maintain the heritage feel about the little motorised carriage. Nice clear views around through the big windows. And the ride on the fairly primitive chassis is fair at least and fine for a short sprint up and down the line. I understand that a replica is being built as well as a trailer car to form a two car set. This is to be finished in 2024 or 25 perhaps and will have a driver's control end built in. Now I've spotted signs to the train story and I believe this is well worth a visit so let's get over there next. A short walk past the main station building and around to the right the path leads to the group of buildings full of exhibitions and information points. The carriage shed gives a glimpse of how much hard work goes into restoring and maintaining the rolling stock. All the unsung hours and pounds spent on all this work, but the outcomes are fully restored carriages for us to admire. Further round past the loco yard is the Train Story Museum. Out the front is this beach hut carriage, preserved as it would have looked in the 1950s, locally on the island. 
Wow, just look inside. Inside the Train Story Museum, there's lots of information and exhibits to look at. As I look around, I try and imagine the pieces not here on display, but in the hands of folk using them back in their day, in the 1930s or whenever. And inside here, yes, is a preserved London Underground 38 stock four car unit. I'm old enough to remember riding on them on the Bakerloo line from Stanmore south through London.
I've really enjoyed my day here. Have you visited this railway? Please do let me know your thoughts in the comments below and click a like while you see the button. From the Isle of Wight Steam Railway, thanks for watching and bye for now.